Today I am going to make for you three different pizza crusts that you can make ahead and freeze and pull out when you need them. So come along and lean in green with me. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. If you're new here, I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Optavia's 5-in-1 program. Part of the Optavia program is to have one lean and green meal each day that consists of five to seven ounces of a lean protein and three servings of lower carbohydrate vegetables. And one thing that everybody loves is pizza. So since I made a video back at the beginning when I started doing these videos, I did a what I eat in a day with a cauliflower crust pizza. I've learned a few things. And so I thought I would show you three different crusts two of them use cauliflower one of them uses chicken and so i'm going to start with the chicken crust first so i have my stove preheating to 400 degrees and before i show you the ingredients let me just take a second to invite you to subscribe to my channel by subscribing you just let me know that you like this kind of content that you want to see more and it lets youtube know for your own algorithm what kind of videos you like to see in your feed so just hit that subscribe button and become part of my tribe. I appreciate it. So the recipe calls for a half a pound of chicken. And I'm gonna measure out a half a pound and I'm gonna use the other half of this and make some chicken patties for dinner tonight. That sounds pretty good to me. So I need a half a pound of ground chicken. And I'm not sure why the recipe is chicken and not turkey, but that's what it says. So that's what we're doing. I want eight ounces, which is a half a pound. Almost there. There we go, there's eight ounces. And then I need one egg. I suppose you could use egg beaters as well. That's probably not a problem. So I've got my one egg going in here. And then I need a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And two tablespoons of cheese. Now I'm just gonna go over what goes in the crust and then I will give you um, recipe suggestions in the description box down below for what you can top this with. I've seen a, um, a margarita option and a veggie option. It has all of the lean already in the crust. So adding, you can't do something like pepperoni or anything like that for the pizza. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up by hand until it's all thoroughly combined, get the egg mixed in there, get all of the cheese mixed in there. If you're using parchment, then you wanna spray the parchment with nonstick spray. Um, I'm using a silicone baking mat. I think this is probably good. So I'm gonna put this on the mat. Get as much of that egg out of there too. And then I'm just gonna pat it out into a big old circle. This recipe makes enough for two servings. And when it is topped, it is a complete lean and green with one lean and uh, two to three greens, depending on um, what you put on there for your toppings and uh, then the healthy fat and three condiments. So that recipe will be down there. You know, roughly a circle. It doesn't need to be an exact circle. If you wanna make it a square or a triangle or a pumpkin for Thanksgiving or Halloween, a Christmas tree for Christmas, I suppose it doesn't really matter. It'll all work. I'm gonna throw this in the 400 degree oven as soon as it finishes preheating. 
and I'm going to bake it for 400 degree, at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And then I, since I'm not going to eat it right away, I'm going to let it cool. And then I'm going to put it in a big Ziploc bag and I'm going to pop it in the freezer. Um, if you were to bake it right away, you would put the toppings on it. The sauce, the veggies, the cheese, a half a cup of cheese would finish this off and you will uh, bake it for another five to 10 minutes and then until the cheese is bubbly and ready to go. And then you would divide this in half because this makes two servings. So I'm gonna wait till that pops in uh, the oven. I'm gonna pop that in the oven and then I am gonna come back and show you the cauliflower crust recipes. I have two different ones and I'll show you those. I'll be right back. I have learned two things about cauliflower crust since I made that first YouTube video of what I ate in a day a while ago. And that is, the first one is that the egg, the egg beaters that you put in here um, really counts as a condiment. So three tablespoons of egg beaters counts as a condiment. This is actually four tablespoons. So it's, you've got a condiment and then a little bit more if you wanna count it or not. Um, typically they will tell you if you're adding like a tablespoon of egg whites to something you don't really need to count it. I would not do that very often. And you all know how I feel about messing with the system. So, but we're gonna go with that. Um, so I have three and a half ounces of riced cauliflower. Typically I do my own. I do not pre-cook the riced cauliflower or try to squeeze liquid out of it. Trust me, I have made these crusts so many times you do not need to pre-cook the cauliflower. And I would hesitate to use the uh, frozen rice cauliflower just because it does have a lot of liquid in it. So if you are going to do that, I would say you probably do want to go through that whole process. Why bother? Buy a head of cauliflower or a bag of uh, in the produce section that's already cut up if you want to do that. And then rice it even more so that you have like a really small, tiny pieces of the cauliflower. And then we're going to add a, um, an ounce of the um, Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to zero out my scale. I've turned it on, turned it off. <laughs> zero out my scale and I'm gonna put in one ounce of the mozzarella cheese that is a quarter of a cup. And grab my spatula and then I'm just going to mix this all together. You want to mix it really well so that everything gets coated with that egg. And then you're going to make one cauliflower crust. Um, don't forget to spray your parchment paper. I learned the hard way. If you don't spray it, it will stick. So I'm going to dump this on here and then I'm just going to use the back of my spatula to kind of pat this out into a circle. You want to try to get it as thin as possible because remember this is raw cauliflower. So the thinner you get it, the more it's going to cook. Cauliflower crust is not intended to be a chewy, um, thick, bready type structure it's really more of a vehicle to hold those pizza toppings that we love so much so spread it as thin as you can and then you want your oven to be preheated to 425 and you're going to slide this into the oven and let it cook for about 22 to 25 minutes I'm gonna get this as thin as I can without leaving any holes. So it's gonna bake for 22 to 25 minutes. And then I'm going to, uh, because I'm not going to top these today, I just wanna show you how to make these crusts. Um, I make a number of these at one time, um, especially on a day when it might be a little bit chilly outside and having my oven on is not going to be a problem. Um, as it is kind of today. And then I freeze them 
and save them for a day when I need to have a pizza crust. This is one serving. That's what I like about this one over the chicken crust one is the chicken crust, you only get half the pizza. But this is the same size as the one that I did with the chicken crust and I'm only getting half of that whereas I'm getting this whole one uh, which is an awesome size for a pizza. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven, 22 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and flip it over for another and put it back in for another five to 10 minutes and then um, I will be back. But I'm, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you my other cauliflower crust recipe. So I just looked at my chicken crust and I actually decided I'm gonna flip it over and just let it cook for a couple of minutes longer. It's probably done, but it doesn't hurt to give it a little bit more time. So what I discovered, um, you've probably seen or maybe you've seen my taco recipe where I make the taco shells. Well, the taco shells are almost the same as the pizza crust except they don't have the cheese in it. So it's just the cauliflower and the egg. So again, three and a half ounces of cauliflower, a quarter of a cup of egg beaters, and that's all that you need. So I figured if I could make three cauliflower taco shells out of this mixture, surely I could make one pizza crust out of this mixture and save all of my lean for my toppings. And that makes me happy because that means I can have a half a cup of cheese plus a half a lean worth of pepperoni or chicken. I could do a barbecue chicken pizza or um, a buffalo chicken pizza. There are lots of um, options that I could do that this allows me to use both the cheese and a, a lean protein as part of my topping. So I have tried this. It does work and so I'm, it's the exact same process just minus the cheese I'm gonna spray my parchment and then I'm going to plop this in the middle and again pack this out until I have a round pizza crust and then just like the one with the cheese I'm gonna slide it into the oven and let it bake for 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm going to flip it over and bake it for another seven to ten minutes and I am going to come back um, once all three of my crusts are done and show you what they look like. While I'm waiting for those cauliflower crusts to cook I just wanted to come back. I Earlier today I posted a reality check it was my week 20 it was my week 20 reality check. And in that video, I talked about how important community is and having uh, people who are supportive and are, who are encouraging on your weight loss journey and how important that is to have that. Um, and I kind of got blindsided um, later that, yes, this morning um, when I had a post a link to one of my videos posted on one of the Optivia recipe groups on Facebook and somebody commented on the video talks too much and it really took me aback like I you know I'm a Yankee <laughs> my inner snark wanted to come out but I thought you know I I don't need to respond back negatively to somebody who chooses to use their words to hurt. I think we often hide behind the computer screen, the phone screen, the keyboard, and feel like we can say things to people on social media that we wouldn't say to their face. I don't think that this person, I mean, maybe she would, but I don't think this person would come up to me in person after listening to me talk and tell me that I talk too much. And so I just really want to encourage you about the power of your words and how we have an opportunity to breathe life into others. We have the opportunity to encourage and to inspire and to not use our words in ways that are going to bring people down, that are going to be hurtful, um, you know, like your mom probably told you if you are Bambi's mom, if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe it was Thumper's mom, 
If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all, right? Um, and I just really want to encourage you because I, I did share about how it's, it is emotional struggle losing weight and having that support behind you is so important. And um, I'm choosing not to let that person um, ruin my day, although I have to admit it was hurtful. Um, it did, does make me sad that somebody would feel like they have the right to be critical in that way. If you don't like the recipe, that's fine. If you think that I did a, you know, I made a disgusting recipe that sh you would never eat. Okay, you can share that. That's, that's totally fine. But personal attacks on people is not ever going to be something that is going to make that person stronger or make them better. It's only going to uh, bring them down, be discouraging. So use your words to be encouraging, to breathe life into people. And I hope that when you come to my page and watch my videos, while some of them may be longer than others and you may want just a short five minute video, by now you know me and I'm not going to do a five minute uh, recipe video. I am gonna talk to you and I am gonna give you tips and I am going to hopefully inspire you on your weight loss journey so that you can become the best version of yourself. All right, when that cauliflower crust is done, I'll be back. So here are my three pizza crusts. The chicken crust, this is again, two servings once it's topped. This is my cauliflower crust that has the cheese. This is my cauliflower crust that does not have the cheese. Each of these is considered one serving of uh, two greens. Uh, this one is two greens, a half a lean, and a condiment. This is two greens and one condiment. So you can figure out what you want from there. I will leave some recommendations in the information box down below for each one of these and how you could use them. I am going to freeze these and save them for later. So until I see you next time, please keep living in the light.